Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Outer Wilds today. Uh, going to figure out why our why our sun is exploding. Going Nova, Supernova, or whatever. Um, last time near the end of the night, we stuck pretty close to home here on our on our old old planet. Tried to find the dude with the harmonica. Could not. Um, but we did learn a bunch, so that's fun. Um, all right. What's our what's our first thing here that we want to do? Um, first, let's head to the ship. So I'm gonna map to check. Uh, let's get eyes on our first destination, and just see see in general like what kind of info we need to we need to pick up here. Where's our? There it's okay. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Rumor mode? Oh, I see. Okay. So this is the, the, the data layout we were looking at before. Yeah, I wasn't aware that there was a, a planetary thing going on. Oh, and there's a sun station. Hey, they were talking about that before. Hey, Game Over. How you doing? Good to see you. Um, and then we were at Ember Twin for a bit, and Ash Twin for a bit. Um, we went to the moon, the Addle Rock for sure. Spent some time on Timber Hearth. And then everything else we have not visited yet, so... Let's, uh, let's see. What's going to be our first thing that we should tackle here? Um, Brittle Hollow might be okay. We did see the eye signal locator a little bit. Um, maybe we were at Brittle Hollow once. I don't remember. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, because we were on the moon, and they were talking about the eye signal locator, and they were like, yeah, let's go by and build something in Brittle Hollow. Yeah. Okay, maybe we go to Brittle Hollow first. That seems like a good, uh, a good first destination. That's not too far away. I remember how to fly this thing. I probably don't. <laughs> I probably don't know how to fly this thing. But that's all right. Um, there's our map. Uh, Brittle Hollow. Brittle. The Brittle Hollow is over there. Oh, good. Our, uh... Left stick click is no longer bound, apparently. Alright. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's weird. That seems like a bug. Alright, well, not the Adel Rock. Um... Uh... Where's Brittle Hollow? Is that... No, that's Giant's Deep. Uh, is that Brittle Hollow? That's Ash Twin. Uh, well, there's another thing kind of orbiting it there, isn't there? Oh, that's the Sun Station, right. Um, is that Brittle Hollow? No, it's Dark Bramble. Is that there's Brittle Hollow? Okay. Um, uh, uh, gauge Autopilot, uh, Board Autopilot, Match Velocity. <laughs> there we go. Okay. But we also want to go there. Okay. Um, I can use the signal scope while I'm in the ship. That's pretty nice. Um, okay, where is the... Uh, right there. Alright. Let's do that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, bonk. Oh, bonk. <laughs> Okay, we got some ship damage. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. It's fine. Uh, we'll just have to fix that before we depart, I guess. Oh, yeah. I think we're, we're, we're listing a little bit. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Sorry. Fair landing gear. And what was the camera? Yeah, there we go. There we go. No problem. Perfect landing. <laughs> okay. Um, I forget where I was already going here. That way? No. One big... I know there's a dude on this planet, right? Just need to find out. Because I kind of eyeballed it on the way in, and then we hit the ground pretty hard, and then I repaired shit, and I already lost my bearings. Might be on the precise other side of... Yeah. Pretty much on the opposite side of the planet. That's okay. We got plenty of time. 
Plenty of time, plus we can kind of get like eyes on some of this planet's surface a little. Maybe there's other other points of interest. Seems pretty desolate. And by the name, I would assume it's at least partially hollow. What do I know? What do I know about name and stuff? Okay, I'm gonna get closer. I forget who was the one that, um, that had the banjo. Forget the name, but I'm sure we'll, we'll figure that out once we track this one down here. Or I could have just gotten in my ship again and then <laughs> re-landed much closer. Um, but you know what? That's fine. I need to get my steps in anyways. over here. You know what? Let's divert. Let's divert to this landing site over here. Oh, I probably already already didn't do good. Oh, somebody else's ship. At the uh, South Pole? South Pole, I guess. Can I get in? Oh. Can't get in, but oh, there's a dome here as well, as well as an interior. Okay, you know what? Interior's good. Could, uh, oh, well, shit's locked. Could do with a, an oxygen top off here, eventually. Um, but let's, let's investigate. Let's investigate. Investigate the outside. Also, probably, okay, and we're... We're way far away where we originally intended to go, but that's all right. Getting distracted is fine in what's ostensibly an exploration game. Okay, there's something on top of the Arda Dome here. Like a way in? No. Nope. <laughs> Nuts. Okay, we're about half half oxygen now, so we should probably be on our way to where we need to be <laughs> in an expeditious manner here. I'll also remember that there's something of apparent... Oh, there's the hollow bit. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty hollow. That's pretty hollow. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. We've got a jetpack. We'll be fine. We'll land in this thing, and yeah, there we go. Perfect. And now, we're pretty much here. Alright. <laughs> there we go. And we got oxygen refill. Rebec. Rebec's the one with the banjo. Here. Great job, you. <laughs> I mean, it died a few times uh, before we got here, but that's alright. Mm. It's brittle hollow. Yep, we knew that. The history here. What are you doing here? Here to see the hanging city. In my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. And you're in the solar system. Yeah, we, we knew about that. The Nomai, right? How could I not want to see what their civilization, the civilization was like? Only you probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Oh, I actually did not know that. So, yeah. How'd you even get this far? Yeah, he fell, tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little Scott says it's halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I need stability of the ground around me using my little Scout. This seems to be the place of the best surface integrity. I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. Uh -huh, I didn't come all this way to listen to you. Well, I kind of did, actually. Um, I learned something. I saw the Sunless City on Ember Twin. 
Uh, incredible, the whole city had no ideas. Yeah, the, the one what, which had the sand problem. Uh, they keep the sand out. Uh, they didn't. <laughs> For me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves of that awful river of sand. Yeah, been there, done that sort of. Uh, there's an ingenious building an entire settlement on the ground. Yeah, okay, these are two groups. One that lived on Ember Twin, one that lived here in Brittle Hollow. Oh, they lived on Brittle Hollow. Well, I mean, there's that dome, right? Uh, it was traveling around the solar system, and then we found another planets. Yep, uh, where should I explore? Where shouldn't you explore? Uh, well, not the black hole. Yeah, I kind of figured there was a singularity at the core there. Um, this is the most exciting stuff. It's all below the crust, including the Hanging City. It's just to the north. Okay, it's also a big dome on the south pole. Yep. Can't get inside from the surface. But it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here. There's probably a path to it beneath the crust. Okay. Good luck with exploring. If you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it. Uh, sure. I mean, told them about the Sunless City, right? Uh, what are you doing out here? Oh, you're an archaeologist. Okay, you're an archaeologist. <laughs> the archaeologist. Okay. Uh, rich with Nomai history. Yada yada yada. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Ooh, that one sounded like something landed pretty close. Uh, if you have any questions about the Brill Hall and Harnian or some knowledge of them. Okay. I mean, I guess that's all we got. We've exhausted the, uh... Oh, cool. Get a quick refuel there, too. So I wanted to see... I think we could pretty easily get back here again. But I do want to see what happens if we just kind of take a snooze. Does that, like, function as a reset? Or, like, well, what does this do? Or does it just pass time? Because I am curious what this does. So now I imagine that we have probably lost a good deal <laughs> of this run because I decided to fall asleep. Oh, yeah, it means the sun's probably already about to... Oh, no! See, this time the guy's not going in there. That's weird. It must change from run to run. All right. Well, whatever. That's fine. Um. Okay. So we've talked to Reback. Let's like follow the normal paths around here now. Uh. Ooh. Uh. No. 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 Here. Uh. Launch. Probably make it down there without an issue. Oh, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, um, actually, I want, I want to. Thank you. There we go. It's like, please let me translate that. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. That sounds like some pretty sick knowledge. All right. Oh, that activated the thing. Nice. Oh, to and from. Neat. Okay. Alright, I was about to say, that did look, like, very curious, like it should be a, a little tunnel bit. So now we don't have to risk our person trying to fly down there. Uh, go right, I guess? Sure. Okay. We want to see what's over there now. Oh. Uh. Well. I'm glad we didn't go on that side. <laughs> that thing's collapsing. Oops. Oh, yeah, there goes that thing. Never to be seen again. Okay, might have accidentally picked the correct uh, side. Uh, oh, and there's our ship up there, too. That's convenient. Alright, cool. Turn it back the other way if we need to, but since we're here, I guess this is going to take us back to Crossroads 190. Yep, okay. Boy, this place is falling apart. Well, better learn what we can. Oh, it sounds like we're getting the, the music which says the run's almost over. Uh, the same with the standing tower of quantum knowledge. Making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs, and obtain the last knowledge you need for your journey. Oh, there's stairs? There are stairs. Oh, right. It's the weird gravity stuff, right? Oh, well, that was an explode. Okay. Uh, alright. Yeah, this is the weird gravity stuff, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, hmm. This could be a problem. I don't think I can get up here. Oh. Well, not like that. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Well, it's a nice thought going up them stairs, but, uh... Seem to be missing a, a fair few of the gravity bits that can get us all the way over there. Okay, alright. Hmm. Somewhat worrying, but you know, I think we'll be all right. Okay, let's go up this thing then. Maybe keep eyes on that where that would have put me, regardless, huh? Yeah, probably would have brought me up here, sort of, anyways. Tower of Qu entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Oh, unless we can't get in from this side, which might make sense. Southern Observatory, yeah, okay, we know where that is. Uh... Oh, I see, it's telling me... 2% surface integrity, uh... Hmm, that could be a problem. <laughs> it should take very light steps, then. Oh, because otherwise, I, I think this thing's, uh... Probably gonna collapse soon. Oh. Oh boy. That's that. Those sounds are getting closer. Oh, big chunks are are falling in there. Percent. Well, it seems to be holding steady at two percent. Uh. Okay. Does it tell me which one this goes to. Well, that probably goes up back to the surface. I don't want to do that yet, though, do I? Oh, that's uh, pulling me back. Is that uh, up from below? Maybe? Hmm, okay, well, I guess we'll go... Uh... Uh... Uh-oh. I think I might be taking a trip into the black hole. Uh... Or, or not? Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> um. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's get this over with. Whoop. <laughs> Where in the world am I? I am all the way the fuck over here now. I'm a die in space. <laughs> There is no way I don't die in space. Oh, or I will land on whatever this is. Oh, okay. Or, or bounce off of it. Or get my butt into here somehow. Okay. Well, I figured that would have been uh, that would have been the end for me. Uh, I guess we're fine. Oh. And we're, we're, yeah, we're fine. We're, we survived. We didn't get spaghettified at all. Still kind of zero G in here, though. Um, well, I am without my ship. <laughs> oh, there's some gravity. Okay. I am partially without my ship now, so... The White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. <laughs> this warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Hey, all right. See, Rebeck didn't know what he was talking about. We're fine. Oh, uh, projection stone. Yeah, do we have a thing with which to to put put this in? Read it. All right, let's put put that down there for now. Um, three warp towers tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during a brief during the brief window and the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body in this case brittle hollow must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped 
If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Okay. That's that's good to know. Um, okay. Um, that being the case, then, can we take this with us? Because I don't think there's any... Well, let's go down below, I guess. Um... Is there a thing that we can... Oh! Uh... Uh... Alright, let's, uh... Here? Whoa... Okay... Okay... Um... Oh, I see, that's where we popped out of. So that was, that was the, the white hole thing that I was thinking about the other day. Alright. Well... Uh... Um, okay, well now it's moving, now we can probably get teleported back, that's, that's the deal, I think. Oh, I see, yeah, there we go. Oh, oh no, that's the white hole, never mind, uh, we have to, oh, I see what it's doing, okay, now it's rotating around, and, uh, once it's overhead... I wonder if I need to stop it while it's overhead, or if it'll just kind of go... Whoop! It just kind of went. Okay. We're here! And we have the thing with us. That's good. Um... Was there a... Step onto the warp receiver platform to reactivate return warp. Uh... uh Alright. Let's make sure we have this. Oh, there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. Uh, didn't quite want to do that again, but that's, that's alright. That's alright, we'll be back. Whoa, trippy. Okay, um... Was there a... Okay, yeah, same deal. The thing I just read. Wasn't there a, was there a thing, like a little reader platform thing in here? Think city. Okay, oh no, now we're back on Brutal Hollow. I see. Oh, that shit's busted. Uh. Alright, let's learn all we can. Oops, don't remove the scroll. My friends in Brittle Hall, I just warped here from the White Hall Station on the other side, blah 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 blah. Design work, we su successfully recreated warp travel. Uh -huh, how close it is to blah blah blah. Delighted, oh that sounded like a sun exploding. Um, uh, seen these readings, was the accurate, blah 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 blah, violate causality. Uh huh. Okay, don't tell this. I'm gonna read all of this before we get consumed by the sun's nova here. Wonderful news. And I'll hold this close just for grins. Oh, oh no, oh, there was a reader down there, ah. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so jumping into black holes, not fatal. This we have learned. This we have learned. Okay, as long as we're learning something new every time, it's, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. Okay, let's go. So, Brittle Hollow, definitely some points of interest to explore there still. Maybe we can get there and land without incidents. Um, let's check our info first. Probably added some new stuff, yep, we, uh... Scoped out Reback. Uh, we learned about the White Hole, etc. Oops. Uh, yeah, let's do this. More to explore here. Yeah, I know that. Uh, here's the tower, blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. Uh, Northern Glacier. I guess that's where we were, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. N not bad. Not bad. We learned about the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. But, we couldn't walk up the side and get into the actual tower, because that shit's all busted. Maybe it, like, 
breaks very slowly. And we just need to get there more quickly so we can get up in there. Um, Hanging City. Yeah, we learned about it, but we didn't go see it. And we learned about Rebeck. And it was like, hey, yeah, we learned the thing. And then can't get in from the surface. You have to go in through the crust, etc., etc. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's head back to Brittle Hollow. All right, let's see if we can get a lock on it there. Lift off, and then hopefully the autopilot doesn't dunk me into the, uh, the sun. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's see where we're going. Well, there's also that kind of glowy moon to it, huh? Alright, let's just take up standard orbit. What is that? All those lantern. That looks just like lava and lava and magma and volcanoes and shit. Uh there might be something of value in there. Who knows? Who knows, but. I'd imagine there's not much. Perfect landing. <laughs> Perfect landing. <laughs> huh. No problem. Uh, okay, so we're yeah, we're landed on the equator yet again. Um. Let's see. We go back to the North Pole? That's where the glacier bit was, right? Plus, there was an unknown signal nearby, too. Um, oh, it might oh, it might be one of the distress beacon things. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's go check it out. Uh, yeah, it's just up there. Oh, and there's trees, apparently, around here somewhere. Oh, yep, yeah, there they are. Okay, escape pod one. Very good. Everyone unharmed. No one was badly injured. Uh, it's good news. We heard about escape pod two or three. We, we know where two is, right? That's on the uh, Ember Twin. And I'm able to make contact and hear the other two escape pods distress signals. It's only any comfort. Both are structurally attacked. I'm calling for them. Blah, blah, blah. If we can. The moon is approaching again. Volcanic moon has returned. Falling ash and debris. That's uh, very good to have us. Yeah. Find shelter. Oh, success below the surface. Construct a way for everyone to climb safely down the cliff. Whoa. That's what all those impacts are. It's the fucking... It's the garbo from the, the volcanoes. Alright. Uh, well, let's see if we can get over to their ship, then. There we go. Whoop, bonk. <laughs> Alright, no problem. Looks pretty clean for a crash landing, honestly. More info. Okay. Uh, uh, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, this is essentially the same stuff from the other ship on Ember Twin. Uh, uh. There we go. Whoa! Uh, okay. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it took out part of the bridges down there. Uh, well, all right, we've got a got a way out. That's that's good and cool, I guess. Is there anything more? No, it's just kind of like a control room, a, a bunch of life pods, it looks like, and then this um, scout launcher. Okay, good integrity. Good. <laughs> Good, because I'd like to very slowly make my way down here. 
even though there's no uh, mortal threat to us from the black hole anymore. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> well, it was like that when I got here. Uh, okay, so our ship isn't too far away. Black hole sleeps below, you must not slip. Ah, no big deal. I guess this is before they set up their warp bits, though, so maybe it was a big deal to them. But it's not a big deal to us. Oh, okay. Uh, we should make our way over quickly, though. Some of those things not very stable. Okay. Okay, good. As long as we've got some waypoints to follow here. What do we got here? Turn not to wander far from here. This area is somewhat unstable. It's safer than ever we found. Temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust. Okay. Alright, looks like there's maybe a path on the underside we can follow to. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Looks like they definitely got a thing going on here. Looks fancy. Oh, okay. Uh, it's too dear to lose. Here's everything we can recall. Okay, good. It looked like an eye around with a circle at the center, which like a pupil. I suppose the signal was looking for something. Okay. Older than the universe itself. Hmm. I think I've never encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older? Rare and profound knowledge. We must find this eye of the universe. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of into it. Seeking forbidden knowledge. Surely that will not lead to any hubris whatsoever. I trust these no lie. They know what's going on. Hopefully they've got some trees around here. <laughs> Could use a top off on the old oxygen. Sound good. Oh, there's some trees and shit. Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Aha. Here the other escape pods of stress signals gives me hope. Still here, I'm unsure how to survive in this place. Oh, okay. Got something going on there. Why did the vessel crash in that place? Is the vessel unwell in some way? Oh, they got some weird, like, biomechanical ships going on. I check for the warp, and the warp core navigation systems broke well. Warp to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe, and we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Because it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. Afraid of our, for our friends in Escape Pod 3. Well, we don't know where Escape Pod 3 is, do we? Maybe we do. Okay, so I have universe mucked about with ships and stuff. Ooh. It's some weirdo dark power going on. Mucked about with the ships. And they escape pods. Oh, I see. Okay, so one to Ember Twin, which we found. One to Brittle Hollow, which we just found. And then a third one fucked off into somewhere else. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't bode well. That does not bode well at all.
Wait, why is our ship so far away now? It shouldn't be 23 kilometers away, should it? Uh-oh. Did it get popped by a meteor or something? <laughs> Uh-oh. We might be without our ship again. Hmm. Oh, it might have... Part of the surface might have fucking fallen away into the black hole, so it got warped all the way to wherever that was. Hmm. Well, good thing eventually we'll die and come back next to it, right? Is it sure haunting? Okay. Your safe keep where we are. Okay, so they got split up. I guess with the three different escape pods, folks couldn't be choosy. They had to get to get, and they all got out, I hope. Um, alright. Escape pod 1 was using pod 2 or pod 3 was able to board an escape pod at all. Uh oh. Indications that perhaps not all of them did get away. This right here, okay, well, not a lot of clans, various loss to be in vain. Okay, yeah. Hmm. That's. Whoa! Uh oh. Ah. Uh, well, that big ass chunk is now. gone. Yeah, wow, entire bits of the fucking uh, planet's surface are just crumbling. Okay, that's, that's troublesome. That's troublesome and a little concerning. I guess while we're here this time, I want to see if we can get back to... Uh, Ouch, ouch, ouch. Now let's see if we can get back to the underside of the planet here. Oh, ah, dang. Oh. There we go. Uh, where's there? Okay, there's the uh, path of lights over there, which is what I was looking for. <sighs> okay. Yep. Those are the gravity crystals, right? The, 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 the purple glowy ones? Okay, so we gotta not be here. We need to be over there. Uh, over there. I think. <laughs> Alright, we're up too high. I need to... Oh no, over there. Okay. Uh, over this way. Here we go. Stuck inside, make sure we're not missing anything, okay? Alright, this is where I want it to be. Because now we can walk up and around. This might uh, lead us to the southern observatory. Stability where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We can stay close to the escape pods so if there are any incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. If anyone is coming to save us, we want to save ourselves. Yeah, we're here because the eyes signal called us and we followed. Uh, wise point. Blah, 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 blah. Moving to the northern, gl northern glacier will keep us safer then. That's what we should do. Migrate to the northern glacier. Uh, beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. Or if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes, I see. range do these the suckers have? Pretty big, it looks like. But, uh, let's stay close to them regardless. And 
hopefully none of this uh, starts descending while we're walking on it. I suppose we could uh, find out. Oh, 13. Good. That's a comforting number. Maybe I'll just uh, be on my way quickly then. Okay, 100%. That's better. Makes me feel better. Um, 15 is less good. Okay, we're reasonably safe. Oh, now we've got some ice and shit, so we must be near one of the poles. Yep, we're approaching the... North Pole, I think. Uh, which means I should be able to go... Here. There we go. Okay. Hey, that's about as good as you're going to get. Alright. Uh, looks like here we are. Uh, Alright. Hmm. Looks like they didn't fare too well here either. Shit's still pretty busted. Skeletons around. chunks are okay good thing we uh, got here when we did there goes part of our path Ugh. Ooh, it goes back up to the surface I don't want to do that I don't think. oh ghost matter great uh, how nearby is nearby not extremely nearby Okay. Maybe outside. Okay. Oh, no, it's usually near these crystals, right? So it's probably... Uh, yeah, right there. Um, can I maybe fly over it? I think I'm going to have to. All right, here we go. Uh, well, eh, eh. Whoop! Okay. Uh, safe, more or less. <laughs> oh, okay, it goes up. Hmm, I want to go up. I want to go up or down? I like down for now. Be able to get back up if we need it. Uh, okay. Oh, it's another little scroll thing. Uh, is there a nearby wall to read it on? good. Uh, more ghost matter, which is probably down there. Hmm. Yeah. Let's make sure we're not about to put our face into something bad. Okay. Scroll. Okay, there's a wall. Good. <clears throat> good, good, good. Learn all sorts of things. Relation to festivals. Oh, this must be kids. Look at that horrid handwriting. Oh, 
All clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned. Uh, that's been a story. You mean all nomads get to advance too? They got warp core, yada yada, huh? Festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Can't go because we're stuck here. I don't know. We used to go. The festival could last a long time. Okay. Get it happen every ten years. Okay. All right. Info gained, I guess. I oh, should build a new vessel. Okay. Explore the universe in its own vessel. It's the heart of every clan. It's unusual to remain in one place. Okay. No my, no mads. It makes sense. <clears throat> Wanderers have no permanent home. If we built a new vessel, we could return to our adventure sweet life. Imagine all the new places we could go. Wouldn't be stuck here in the star system. We would meet other no my and learn from them. Uh, festivals, etc., right? Uh, probably wouldn't be hard to get parts if we stopped building other new things and if we broke down other structures like the Towers and Ash Twin for parts. Okay. Uh, we might have to build a smaller vessel for now, even though vessels are normally large, but we could make it bigger later once we reach plants some more resources. So help if we stop building so many things to search for the eye of the universe. Uh-huh. Okay. Considering, right, that it kind of fucked with them once already. Um, we can even have a warp core for jumping long distances. Uh, there's plans to make a very advanced warp core for a different project. I'm sure you could connect to the vessel for travel. This is just smart. <laughs> ah, kids. What simple insight they sometimes have. Uh, okay, oh, there was one more. Here. Information in this universe. No one knows how this universe was made. Everything used to be very hot and very dense. Yeah. Uh, there the universe expanded, also cooled down, so it cooled down enough. Particles were able to group together. Uh huh. Continue to expand out at a faster and faster rate. Just keep getting colder and larger until one day stars in the life they support will all die. Well, one day. Uh, scary to think about. Maybe this won't happen in our lifetimes, but it'll happen in someone else's someday. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe the Nomai have a better track record of surviving generation to generation than humans do. Um. Okay. It's a lot of info gained. Hmm. Oh, there's another warp thing. Is that warp thing always there? That is a warp thing, right? Uh, uh, let me pull this out. And then there we go. Yeah, that's one of the warp pad things. I wonder where that would take me. Can I even get up there? There another path out of this area. It's just that. It's the wall that we learned a whole bunch of stuff from. Um, various paths down there, yeah. Okay. Ah, and then this. Which was troublesome, right. Uh oh, ba -ba -ba. ouch. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to fly over that one. Um, we get outside another way here. Like up here. Really, just need to make it down over that path. Uh. Well, let's see what we can do. Oof. All right. Uh, I think, okay, I think this is where we came in. And there was this, which... Oh, is this... Yeah, that's where I came from, but I don't know if I... I must have gone in another path. Oh, right, I probably went in over there. That's the one I flew over. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's fine. It's our, okay, yeah, that sun's looking pretty explody. Uh, we might not have very long here now. Quick, read everything. Uh, uh, 
Black Hole Forge District, Eye Shrine District, Meltwater District, School District. Okay. Uh, um. Uh. Oh. Oh, this, uh. Oh, I see. They've got it kind of layered up. That's interesting. Uh, well, we're not going to have much time for this. Same, yeah. Okay. So we covered the the bottom one. Oh, the school. I guess that makes sense then. All the kids are writing that stuff before. Da crap. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I I think I'm about to be vaporized here. That's all right. Easy come, easy go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that was a goodly amount of of information gained. More points of interest to explore. Found another one of the escape pods. The two that uh, are probably still accessible. The third one is probably a lost cause. That's alright. Okay, what have we learned? Escape pod one, yeah, old settlement. Vessel. Uh, oh, okay. Good thing we scanned all those. Went to the Hanging City. Did some things, right? Coming signal. Dark Bramble. Oh, that's considered a Dark Bramble, huh? Alright. <clears throat> and two of them getting out. Three no my escape pods never made it out. Okay, yep. And they're attempting to follow a signal from the eye of the universe, and they crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. Well, we've seen two of them, right? Uh, so now three escape pods were launched with something called the vessel, which is badly damaged. Oh, that that entire thing was the escape pod, right? Because their little transmitter out there was. Yeah, okay, okay, I get it. I get it. <clears throat> Okay, settlements and shit in Brittle Hollow. Uh, signal holder to blah 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, there's still plenty in the Hang City to go take a look at, right? Plenty to see, plenty to do. Um. Looks like it very helpfully tells us which ones we've completed and which ones have more. That's nice. I like when exploration games do that, because I'm not gonna remember. My dumb human brain ain't gonna remember where I've already been. Um, but yeah, there's, there's Giant's Deep and Dark Bramble, of course. The White Hole we've kind of been to a little bit. And then, wait, well, what's that other thing there? Oh, that's probably like a tower. And then the comet, the interloper, right? So I wonder if we can land on that. And or blow it up. Uh, so it doesn't blow up our sun. Because I'm presuming that's what causes our sun to blow up. Um, there's a quantum moon. Oh, right, the, the weirdo moon. And then the sun station. We could go closer. We could go to the sun station, too. Um, yeah, okay, there's plenty. Uh, well, let's, let's take off and see what we can see. Let's get on out of here. Alright. Now that we are out of here, uh... Yeah, Battle Rock. I don't really 
really care about the Isle of Rock, I don't think. Sun Station would be an interesting go. Uh, you know what? Let's let's try to get there. Not the sun. Oh, it doesn't let me lock onto it. That's probably pretty dangerous. That's right. Let's try to get there anyways. Oh, what the? Oh, apparently we didn't... Uh, <laughs> we, we didn't rise high enough. We were still caught in the planet's gravity. Whoops! That's all right. I'm sure we're fine. All right. Uh, I think that's the sun station there, yeah. Oh, I think I lost it. I lost sight of it. It's still there. Did it get swallowed up? On account of the sun expanding. Oh, it's still there. It's just... Boy, that's real close to the the surface now. Oh, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get there. <laughs> we'll try it. I mean, worst thing that happens is that we uh, make a surprise sun dive here. There it is. Come here. Oh no, we're moving way too fast. <laughs> Boy, this is, uh. I mean, I guess this is space flight, right? Gonna. Uh, careful about what you're doing. Ain't no, uh. Ain't no friction in space slowing you down once you get a good head of steam going. Oh, I lost sight of it again. I think I should probably get in close and then go into orbit around the sun and then just kind of hang out there for a bit. There it is. Perfect. Okay. On our way. On our way. Oh, we're getting real close. Oh, we're getting real close. Oh, we're getting real close. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, okay. Quickly now. Before the sun expands too much. Time, don't uh, don't let go of the launch thrusters until we we're sure we've cleared the atmosphere. There we go. That's probably good enough. Okay, there it is. Eyes on. Eyes on, and it's getting itself over to the other side there. at four and change kilometers that's probably fine now five kilometers we could stand to get maybe a little closer yeah about four kilometers it's fine uh, there it is okay there's the sun station oh 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 well, there's a little warp point on it. Uh, uh oh, 
I think we're, I think we're headed in. I think we're headed in. Ah! <laughs> okay, I did see the little, like, little warp symbols on it, though, so, uh... We've got an alternate way to get there. That's fine. That's fine and good. Okay, Sun Station off our list of destinations for now. I guess we head outward. That's the, uh... That's the next one out from Brittle Hollow. Giant Steep? Yeah, okay. And that's a that's a water world, right? So we we're gonna be doing some swimming. Doing a little bit of swimming. Oh, okay. Looks like there's a. Uh... Oh, I think that's the thing we see go boom when we wake up. Is this little orbiting platform thing. Okay. Let's see what we can do to Alright, maybe we'll 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 wait for it to make another orbit here. Okay, we gotta get a little bit further away because we're getting caught in the gravity well. There, about two K is probably fine. Okay, there it is. Oh, 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 Apparently landed. Uh. Uh. Okay. Sit down. Right there. Alright. Perfect. <laughs> Out we go. <laughs> to repair everything. Oh, we're still technically not even landed. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> oh no. I guess this is why we practiced uh, in in space zero g repairs, right? Oh, it's so stodgy. Okay. Pretty much everything was busted, wasn't it? There. Yeah, there's some damage there. I imagine there's more busted things on this now. Uh, uh oh. Uh, 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 get, get back in there. I think we're about to. Oh no! <laughs> ah! Come back! <laughs> Oh, I can still match velocity and shit with our jetpack, too. That's kind of nice. Oh, get back in there. Alright, is there shit still busted? No, it's repaired. Okay. Uh, alright. Where the hell are we? There we are. Okay. Oh, we can, uh... Try to land on something here. Okay, there we go. Like right there. Right on the only apparently landable spot. It's got the little little purple bits around it. Okay. We need to go like rip and rip. There we go. First try. <laughs> Okay, we're here. Oh, and we're 
I guess we're going in here. Okay, right, the, um, I think the Whitehall station had something like this, too. Where you go in, you, you flip an orb around, and then suddenly you're indoors, sort of, I guess. Oh, okay, and we got the same kind of setup here. Oh, well, I guess it's more of a space station, right, than a, a, a settlement control module. Launch module, okay. Well, this might have been a vessel, or a ship or something. <clears throat> Looks like shit is real busted, though. Shit's real busted, and we might have to go around the outside to get in there. Can't squeeze our butts through there. Alright. Oh, this one's already wide open to space. Nope, don't need that. What was this? That shit's all the way gone. Probe track. Yep, that's gone. Um, this was what, the launch module, which I need to find my way. A oh, control module. Okay, let's see if, see if we can get through here. Oh, yeah, it's kind of got its thing intact here. Nice, okay. Oh, I see. Alright. Down we go. Oh, uh, uh. Mm. oh, it's got one of them little thingamadings on it, too. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can see. on the ceiling. Thank you. Alright. Launch module projection stone. Ooh. Let's see. Oh yeah, shit's real busted here. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I see. I can. I only have a limited range to wander my butt around and look into this area. Okay, so there's another thing floating there in the launch module. If we get our butts over there somehow, that might be important. That's what they were showing me. Oh, there's another thing here. Okay, a uh, giant steep projection stone. Oh. And as Yara says there's a problem with the proposed power source, the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. Pulling my, uh, you're pulling my locomotive limb. Ah, I get it. <clears throat> so we're but no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on an indefinite hiatus. They should return from the cannon when I spend them will remain at the construction yard. And then join you and Daz, and I left to visit her brother. She feels the day we feel responsible. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Okay. Oh, right. Zero G. <laughs> we don't need a hell of a, a hell of a kick to get back up in here. There we go. Alright, I need to get to the launch module <clears throat> to get that other little tablet thing so we can look and see where it was. And which which one was this? This was uh, the control module? Alright. Yeah. Okay. Uh, launch module was here. And if I remember something from first session, we can uh, put our little scout bit over there and it'll light up. 
that when we do a little, a little space float here, we'll be able to see where we're going. Oh, oh I don't want to fire it all the way the fuck out there, though. Oh, maybe that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, plus it'll put the, the scout marker on my, uh, on my HUD there. That's good. That's what I wanted. Okay. Hmm. Right. Is there a third module, right? There was a probe tracking module. Was this the one that was all busted? Yeah. But we can use this to get outside. I'm gonna go over to... Well, you know what? I'm gonna take a quick stop by the ship. And uh, top off on oxygen and fuel. Where was the fuel thing? Here it is. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, excuse me. No. No, I just... Get me out there. There we go. Okay. There we are. Okay. Now we can get in here. Easy peasy. All right. Oh, except that tree's dead, so no oxygen for us. Um, and there's the floaty bit there. Gimme. Oh, I see. This just lets us look around the the other spot that we were at. Um. Okay. Probe tracking module. That's where we're at right now. We're at the probe tracking module, right? Or no, we're at the launch module. Oh, this is what it was um, when shit wasn't all busted, I think. What was this one again? Probe tracking. Yeah, and it had one of those uh, weirdo statue things, like, intact. Okay. Starting to get this. <clears throat> Starting to put some things together here. And the probe tracking module, the first thing the coordinates of the eye of the universe. Honor and terrified. I want to ask over the probe can to use so much power that it breaks, will you? I only need to fire the probe once, anyways. Who minds if it? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. We won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Whoops. Yeah, that shit's busted. Shit's busted, man. We already read this one? No. And so it's any last mechanic components soon. We'll know the eye's precise location. Uh huh. Construction yard and crew have determined a power setting. We are not under any circumstances to go above. Hmm. Am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring it? Oh, probably. Yeah, uh-huh. All the power it can structurally withstand. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Getting some definite hubris off these folks now. <laughs> All right, was it just the two bits that were over here, right? Um, I think probe track. Let me look at probe track one more time. As it, as it was when it was fully not destroyed. Yeah, there was a thing over there. Okay, let's see if we can get back there. Okay, hmm. Yeah, because it looks like the gravity stuff up above is no longer working, right? Just the stuff that's down here, because it's all lit up. That's fine. So here we are. Okay. 
Alright, well, let's get out of here then. Um, okay, yep, that was the busted bit. Oh, can we, uh, make our way through that? No, we can't. We're too big. Ah, there it is. Hold to get out of here. Okay. Um, alright, and I think... I think at least the other two modules are accessible from inside. Let's just double check what we have here. Hmm. I see. So we saw them... Well, we saw something destroy this thing when we first woke up. That's what's silhouetted against uh, Giant's Deep here. Ooh, but we haven't investigated the rest of this. There's still a few things here. Control module and the probe... Wait, we just came from the probe tracking module. How is there... Okay. Control module and probe tracking module. Apparently there's still more stuff in both of those. Maybe. Maybe, if I'm reading this right. Which I might not be. Uh oh. Did I uh, lock myself out? On account of. Yeah. Never mind. Let's go up this way. Let's go up this way and we'll have to go back in the way we came out. I think. Uh, right. In the busted side of whatever it was. Uh. Or was that? <laughs> I mean, it was one of the... Oh, well, actually, I want to see what's in, up in here, too. So... I'm guessing this is where the cannon fired out. Right? So there's not going to be much to surveil here. So we've got the three different uh, module attachment points. One of them was entirely blowed up. Uh, which is the one I escaped into space through. Then I went out and went into one of the busted modules. Which I think was the probe control module. Oh, ow. Excuse me. Aha. Okay. I do want to head back in here anyways. Apparently there was stuff I haven't done yet. Or it didn't light up like I had done it entirely. At least that was the deal. had the statue in it, right? Which, if that was the one that got blowed entirely off the thing, I don't think I'm gonna see this. Unless this was the thing that they recovered down on uh, Timber Hearth. That could be, actually. Hmm. Curious. Okay. Okay, let's try to get back to the other part of the interior. This way. 
I look at this. Oh, I can't get a good view on it to see where the bit was that was all busted and shit. Oh, there's the, uh, there's the comet, you know? Hey, while we're here. Uh oh, oh, it's getting away at a fantastic speed. I'm not catching up to it. Oh, no. Did I, uh, okay, there. <laughs> it's like, shit, did I lose track of where I was? It's a pretty strong-ass jetpack if we can fight the orbital gravity well here. Okay, here, we've got a... A goodly, uh... Well, I am kind of running out of fuel, though. Um, Uh-oh. And oxygen, as it turns out. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need to stop off at the ship again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got enough to make it back. <laughs> uh oh. Um. Rot row. Using oxygen as propellant. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, we have very little. <laughs> we have very little of both. Uh. 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 Please just land. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See, no problem. <laughs> I wasn't worried. Ha. Phew. Oops. Okay, just let me get on, on the damn surface. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, alright, where's the... F is the hole back in here? Oh, there. There it is. Only side of this bit that's missing a big-ass module attached to it. There we go. Alright. Okay, um, and then what's well, that? The control module? I think I need to go back in there anyways. Or I want to. Alright. Uh, let's make sure we dunk all these onto the wall so I can see what they're talking about. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh wait, we already read this. Did not record for some reason. Okay. Uh, that might be the extent of what we can do here then. Well, wait, let's go. Giant Steve. Hmm, I see. Okay, so there is some sort of structure within Giant Steep itself. I think we knew that. But it'll probably have to wait until next run. Because <laughs> it sounds like uh, Sun's about to do an explode, I imagine. Oh, yeah. It's uh, turning red giant real quick there. Um, That's alright. We did uh, a goodly amount of of exploring here once we landed for realsies. At least get into our ship. Or, uh, things vaporize. Yeah. Safe. Not really. <laughs> Yeah, kaboom. Alright, that was uh, slightly more fruitful than the previous two launching into the sun.
And now we know what the explosion is right when we wake up, right? Kaboom! Alright. I mean, we learned that the sun is very hot, I suppose. If we didn't already know that, we now have empirical evidence that the sun is very hot. <laughs> and deadly, as it turns out. Okay, uh, let's head back to Giant Steve. curious how we're gonna locate whatever structure happens to be beneath the surface because it doesn't look like there's anything immediately visible from here uh, which is gonna make this slightly troublesome unless we can just fly our ship directly into this and be like hey we are now a submarine um, I guess we'll find out Whee! oh uh, no, come on. No, not the sun. Not Dark Bramble, Giant Steve. There we go. Okay. Thought I saw some flashes from beneath the surface there. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, there's tornadoes and shit. Uh, water spouts, I guess? Yeah, I guess those would be water spouts. Oh, cool. I didn't realize there was like a... Outer atmospheric layer we weren't seeing through here. Okay. So that explains a lot. Well, let's just tool around a bit, see what we can see. Be very careful. It's probably getting caught up by one of these is no good. Okay, nothing obvious there, really. I guess we can afford to take a dip, maybe? See if there's anything in the... Okay, yep, yeah, there we go. They found something. Oh, but then there was the thing about, you know, can't... Something was blocking them or something. Yeah, the, like, the thick water was just like, No, man, you ain't you ain't coming in here. And it's like, uh, okay. Hmm, that's curious then. Maybe there's something, like, on the outer surface. Beep boop, I am submarine. Oh yeah, look at that, there's something there. Like a little, a little island? Hey, look at this, look at this, okay. Alright, easy, easy. More or less touchdown. <laughs> Okay. Well, this is pleasant, if a, if a bit moist. And 2x gravity, too. Alright, so, uh... Oof. <laughs> I wish you your plate skill of 1 to 5. Uh, that one was... That one was alright. That's a solid 3, I think. We did it. Gabbro. Okay, well, was Gabbro the kind of, like, the chaotic neutral of the group? That's what it was, right? I don't freak out or anything. They keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know. It's pretty weird. <gasps> Gabbro knows! Good. Oh, have, you, have you died lately, or is it just me? Uh, no, it's me, too. What the? Uh, oh, I guess we got picked up and flung into space. It took us out of our our conversation and we can't re-talk to him until we land, probably. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I like that. Oh, is this gonna be like, oh, there's a ghost thing in there. 
Oh no, actually there isn't. That's curious. Oh yeah, yeah there is. Never mind. That's funny. Okay, so we got hucked almost into orbit by a water spout. I watched the cyclone for so long, I started hypnotizing and telling you they put you in a trance if you stare at them long enough. A space treating you. Uh, I found some. Uh, I found what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Yeah, it blew up because they put too much power into it. <clears throat> is the cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Did you figure out why? Uh, too much power. That's scary much that sounds like something Slater fell apart to. I'm pretty sure. I'm surprised to know I built something that actually broke. I think of it though, broke might be the wrong word. I mean, rapid, unscheduled, uh, well, what's the last, shit, what's the, what's the term for that? Rapid, unscheduled disassembly or something, right? <laughs> it looks like the order of can is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop, yeah. Yeah, it does look like that, doesn't it? Um, alright, there was another branch to this, right? Uh, over enthusiasm. Oh, it's the same, same dialogue bit. Okay. Um, what are you doing out here? Now, what, are, what are any of us doing out here, really? I don't fucking know, man. I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system. Yeah. Okay. Tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think. It's quiet and peaceful. I mean, yeah. I guess. Usually, sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we just experienced that firsthand. Um. Where should I explore in Giant's Deep? Start of every time we keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Yeah, okay, we already talked about that. Um, been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it. Seeing as the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> on the beach on Statue Island, the whole glowy business happened, by the way. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. 7 out of 10! Would visit again, I guess. Uh, I feel like checking out Statue Island. It's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Oh, mostly connected, anyway. Alright. What's up with this planet? I mean, it's a bunch of water. I can, like, tell you more about it? Okay. Well, Giant's Deep is massive, mostly water. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hard read there. Um, strong current of waves beneath the surface prevents anything from sinking below it. Yep. First hand experience with that. Oh, hey. There's probably Statue Island there, I guess. Well, why Statue Island? Tried everything I could think of to get past the current. Neither idea worked. The landmass has counted four islands, including this one. Also the one with the Nomai statue I found on the beach. Okay, so four. Four total islands. <clears throat> Toss up everything in their path, islands included. If you get picked up, try to land in water. <laughs> yeah. Where's your ship? That's a good question. Definitely on the planet somewhere. You know, it's like a cycle gave by and toss it in space. Eh. So we kind of got first-hand experience with that, too. Alright, so that tunnel's a no-go since there's ghost matter in it. Um... I guess there's anything else nearby. Gabbro yeah, here. And it's probably a... Considering gravity is 2x, I bet our jetpack is going to be kind of useless, so... Can't go jumping around like an old Mario here. So whatever paths we see is what we got. Oh, well, there's his uh, campfire, I guess. Oh, and the fuel refill. I get okay. So I guess like the campfires are just like a a little base at which you can refill and, and shit, and have a have a marshmallow, I guess. Yeah. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, that's too close. There we go. That looks pretty good. Mm. Not crunchy. But that's too much sugar. Three marshmallows is too much. One is usually pretty good. Anything after that is just kind of like, mm, ah. Okay, well. Oh, that's my ship. It's like, hey, there's Gabriel's ship. No, that's mine. Oh, I see. This was the other, uh, well, up we go.
Up we go. Okay. Um. Yeah, because this is where the ghost matter was, right? Oh, yeah, it's literally right there. Okay, I think that just goes to Gabbro then. So we're not missing anything. Oh, jeez. It's pretty funny, though. Okay, so we saw one island pass us by. It had one of them little um, purple diamond bits on it that, like, kind of sticks us to the surface, right? So let's go try to hunt down three of the four other ones, I guess. Oh, well, we get out of the trees. So there's Gabbro. Okay, there's another one over there. It's got a bunch of weirdo brambles around it. Got a safe landing vector here somewhere? Oh, there we go. matter you say yeah I mean it's way deep in there so we're safe for now yeah they're gonna want us to crawl about outside here Let's see how close we can get or just not the right hand path yeah okay hmm oh I imagine this was supposed to be a tutorial <laughs> They probably wanted us to go to Giant Steep way earlier. But, uh... We already knew how to do the whole boosty bit anyway, so... It's not like we missed anything. Oh, oh I hope our ship sticks to the ground there. What's this? have time to get to where we need to be in a bigger damn hurry whoa oh jeez oh, oh oh no did we die <laughs> ah I see Gabro's advice about hitting the water is uh, probably good <laughs> ouch I figured we'd be sort of safe in the in that little twisty tree bit, but uh, no such luck. All right. Well, now we have learned. Now we have learned. Okay. It's fine. Um, we we put anything? Okay, Gabbers Island, Statue Island, Ocean Depths. Okay. Yeah, we told him about the orbital probe cannon. Um, and yeah, he's there. There's a strong current. We need that. Statue Island. Natu two islands connected by a natural rock arch. I don't know if that's the one we were at uh, before we ate shit, but. Let's go back. Back to Giant's Deep and, and, and see what we can see. into giant steep at uh, pretty harsh speeds, but you know, there's water. Whoa! <laughs> there's water, so it's fine. Um, I think that was, yeah, that was Gabbro's little island there. Um, I don't recall which direction the other one was in, so I guess we'll just fly around until we see it. Okay, there's another one. Oh, that's the one with the 
the, the purpley thing on it that lets us land easier. Whoa, perfect. Okay, uh, this is island number three, I suppose. And maybe it's Statue Island, I don't know. I don't think I saw a stone arch or anything, but... Definitely got some sort of construction on it, so... Let's take a look. Hmm, yes. Cyclones, water spouts, I get it. Okay, finished building the orbital probe cannon, ready to send it into orbit. Yep. Uh, construction yard, okay, so construction yard is on Giants Deep here. Uh, I truly believe the cannon may actually succeed. Eh. Uh, where's their atypical? Ever half as gooey? Ah, uh, Mallow, I get it. Uh, launch me from the orbital probe cannon, okay. Want to lo launch the probe with as much power as possible. The cannon would break under the strain. Yeah, it does. Spoiler alert. I uh, propose to a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Okay, so they were right. They did try to do that, but uh, it wasn't enough, apparently. <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that. That's, uh, that's a big old, a big old orbital probe cannon, all right. I guess it worked, but, uh, kind of fell apart on its singular firing. Uh, no, we're gonna have to go across there. <laughs> it's like, I'm not gonna be able to jump that and still be sticking to the wall. Probably. Alright, what's the deal? Okay. I thought there was something on the ceiling. Okay. That's yeah, clearly part of it sunk into the water. That's the part I wouldn't have been able to cross over there. thing over there that I care to do eventually. It's kind of curious which of these is going to be the safest bit. Probably that one over there. Well, any of these, really. As long as it gets me to a stable part of the platform. Here's fine. Okay, control mod for projected stone. Oh, okay. Uh, oh boy. Uh oh. Um. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay, I fear for my safety once we end up landing. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Just aim for the water. Aim for the water. Uh. Oh, not the. <laughs> oh, not the platform. <laughs> I guess there, it was a pretty narrow strip that I was actually aiming for, but um, maybe should have thought that one through a bit more. <sighs> Alright, back to Giant Steve. <laughs> Oh, boy.
Blip, blip. Wow, we almost hit a, an island dead on. That would have been unfortunate. Is that Gabro's Island? It sure is. That's the wrong one. Oh, there's something else, though. Is that his ship? That's his ship! Hey, we found his ship! Okay, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's see if we can get, get onto his ship. We did it. We got on a ship. <laughs> it probably doesn't get us anything. But, you know, it's something. I imagine we can't actually get into it. Hatch is closed and all that, but... Maybe we can tell him. We can go back and tell him, Hey, we found your ship. It's just floating in the... In the, in the planet, you know? Oh, there's a uh, statue island. Okay, they're they're all relatively close by. That's good. Whoa, we are out of control here. Oh, and it's got a little warp bit on it too. Well, that's nice. All right, let's try to land our butts on this. Keep our ship in the little gravity bit, right? Because I think that keeps it attached, even if the cyclone picks it up. I hope it does. But alright, so Gabriel was saying he, he found one of the little statue things on here, right? So that might be important to go find. And look into its eyes or whatever. Uh, preferably before one of these sucking things picks it up. Statue workshop. Oh, it's busted. Door's busted. That's right, we'll go around. Test the memory statues tonight. Memory statues, huh? That might explain a few things. What if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Don't use the, the, the door, I guess. I see a test too, but that's a huge risk. Probably shouldn't. Maybe I'll say let us see a later test. Specifically told us not to do that. Well, that just makes me want to do it more. Reverse psychology and all that, right? Uh, okay, yeah. Cyclones and shit. We knew all about that. Okay, I think I get that. Okay, and this goes up to the, the warp pad to Levant. Um, I don't know if this will be active though, will it? Well, clearly it isn't since that thing isn't lit up. Oh, here. Excuse me. Uh, I'm for you to meet the statues. If not in my dwelling, likely my workshop below, inside the island. Ooh, fancy. All right, where does this go, though? Oh. Doesn't go nowhere, because it's not aligned with anything, I guess, right? That's the whole deal. But we 
could warp here. Later. So that's good to know. Interest amongst this busted up shit. Okay, and there's something down sort of below there, I guess. But falling all that way in double gravity is probably not uh, a good idea. cliff. Uh, let's get a good look at the whatever thing below here. I think that might have been the interior. Yeah, how do I... down there. Okay, so there's a door over there. the wind's picking up. Let's, um, here. Stand on one of these. I want to see if I'm right about this. Probably not, but, you know, it'll be a good experience. Oh, no, I am right. This keeps us safe. Which at this point is good, because I don't want to fly back here a fourth time in a row. Okay, good. Um, alright. Uh, uh, there's a door. Door down that away. I wonder if we could maybe just swim down there. Account of all the water. Or maybe there's just a thing down here. Yeah, that works too, I guess. Ah, right. An arch, right? Oh, no, this was the busted-ass door. Damn it. Hmm. Well, that stinks. Is there another way in? Oh, uh, aside from the, the ghost matter tunnel, was that, was that on this island? Another island over there. Uh. It's floating away rapidly. We're not going to get to it. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I mean, there's the statue. Uh, it's not gonna do a, a weird glowy memory thing on me, is it? No? Okay. Alright, so that door is broke. I know the feeling. Um... So I'd like to somehow... Get into the interior. Oh. Oh, and I like that, though. Well, maybe actually we swim in from below. That could be a thing. Hey, look at that. We swim in from below. <laughs> ah, that's how Waterworld works. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Looks like they were carving additional statues. Ooh. 
Uh, step back is as close as the statue and pairing. The statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity when pairing. Oh no, were they building Bluetooth into these statues? Why would you do that? That's not what I would pick. Um, I see how his eyes have opened. That tells us the statue is paired with blah blah blah. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, the statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. Uh, Alright. Extraordinary sculpting work, he's out there himself, blah 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 blah. Uh, first successful pairing, we can test our memory storage prototype. A single noise memory is our own storage unit within Ash Twin. Hmm, okay. Uh, equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, I see. That's what we've been seeing when we uh, get our not surprisingly short lives played back to us uh, before we wake up again. We we see that little bit. Okay. Oh my statue to the thing and Ash Twin to the gnome. Okay, I get it. It's a cycle. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Ash Twin Projection Stone. Okay. Let's see what's going on over there. Oh, it's the right angel. So all the men on the Ash Twin Project look beautiful. It's comforting when the statues will not pair until the project succeeds, or those I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Only, only need to activate once the project succeeds. It's a safety measure, however, the statues also activate in the event of equipment failure. Hmm. They will? Why is that? Uh, if anything goes wrong, it will make us aware of the situation and enables us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. Boy, if that doesn't describe the state of modern human tech. Uh, I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Oh, boy. Too fucking relatable. Um, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I do want to also see what's going on over there, too. Oof. Oofa doofa. Okay. One, two, three. Only three of them are lit up. And presumably one of them is mine. So who are the other two? Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Hmm. 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 All right. Well, that thickens the plot considerably. Oh yeah, Gabro. Gabro said he was like, yeah, shit's looping. Uh, and he did say he found a statue, so that could that could be one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a good point. Oh, I hear the cyclone coming. Let's uh, be all safe about this. Not, not a moment too soon. Hmm. Okay. So who would be the third one then? Maybe an actual Nomai and not one of, or uh, us, one of the four-eyed bits, right? But there, I guess that remains to be seen. We've got plenty of other places to go to, to figure it out too, so I'm not worried about the number of available bits where we can go and find stuff out. Um, now the real question is if we can... Oh, this one's still operable. Oh! The door from this side opens fine. Right. Okay. Guess that makes sense. Um, I think that was all that was... good here, right? Because we made the whole circle... Uh, read the walls, uh, the mural about the masks and the statues and whatever. Okay. Maybe we've got some additional knowledge that we could perhaps share with Gabriel while we're here and before the sun blows up. 
or if we see that other uh, of the four islands within reach, we can do that too. Let's see what this fills in for us. Construction yard. Oh right, there was that other bit of the construction yard that we didn't, um... Okay, right, because we met the ground at extreme velocity and died before we could see the rest of it. Um, and also the underwater stuff that we haven't... haven't, uh... uh, gotten to yet, as well. Okay... Statue Island... Designed to pair with a single user. All right, so it recorded everything we we just encountered. That's good. That's good. Uh, mask and Ash Twin, right? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So Ash Twin will be another revisit for sure, to find out what the heck's going on over there. For the moment. Let's see if we can find uh, one of the other two islands. Uh, and Gabro, again, too, right? We can find him with the little signal bit if we need to. We're I'm sure the other islands are kind of just like fucking around. Okay, there's one. Um, okay, that's the construction site. Oh no! Well, it, it'll be back. <laughs> it'll be back <laughs> eventually. Uh, okay, Gabro's over there. I can see the little smoke signal going on. Oh, I heard it. Oh, there it is. Well, good thing it didn't smack my face up on its way down. All right, where's the landing zone here? <laughs> there it is. Okay. Perfect. It's very forgiving on the landing. My goodness. Uh, okay, let's go try to visit the bit of the construction area that I couldn't get to before I died. And then that'll probably be it for tonight. Let's make sure we've got everything here. I think this is the one we had, we had written before, yeah? Just to double check. Oh, I guess since this is technically a new loop, this is untranslated. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We already know about that stuff. Uh-oh. Sounds like the sun's doing an explode. Oh, crap. Hurry. Run, you fool. That is the, the music uh, indicator for the sun doing an explode. Yep, it sure is. Okay. Uh, I think it's the other side I need to get to. Sugar. Oh, no. No, I haven't seen that yet. Ah, hurry, 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 hurry. Uh, oh no, we were here. I don't remember reading this mural, though. Maybe that was it. Oh, it's describing the, uh, orbital cannon thing. Okay. Maybe we can get, uh, to the other side again. <laughs> Run like you're not wearing 20 bajillion pounds of space equipment. Okay. Uh, okay, we're on this side. Oh shit, there's another projection stone. I'm gonna have to carry that over to the other side, aren't I? Yep. Fuck. 
Wait, which which Brittle Hollow. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, I think that's the only thing here, yeah? Alright, going through ski. Read about shit first. Reading is permanent, more or less, right? Uh, lifting over the pole into the first assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Whoops. It seemed we thought it was impossible for any kind of even partially below the current, or sink straight to the core. Okay, that's stuff to check out. <clears throat> Not to try to recreate the phenomenon using the other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? Yeah, that's very curious. It's incredibly exciting. Can a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow, Southern, uh, Southern Observatory? Okay. It reveals how an object might sink below the current. Unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projecting pool, if I visit the observatory, which kind of explain. I'll mine the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole. Uh, there are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay. Both important bits to know about. Okay, let's take a peek before the sun explodes. Ah, I see. Yep, there appear to be two little cyclone -y bits there. Uh, this is beneath the Southern Observatory, right? Okay. Uh, ugh. Uh. Alright, well, let's see what we can do about that. Oh, there's another thing here. Is this going to be something different, I wonder? Oh, what's this? this? Long range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. Oh, so it is pretty much at. at the start of the run, and each run is what, 20 ish minutes real time? I mean, aside from our. Freezing time bits when we're reading. Uh, bad news, there's a problem with the proposed power source, so it won't be asked to fire. Oh, no, we've read this already. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then this gives us a perspective of a control module, which is all busted to hell now, right? And we did see a statue in one of those, right? Up in the orbital platform, so that's probably the third one. But who, who would that have been outside one of the Nomite? Unless this is the statue that landed in uh, um, Giant's Deep here for Gabro to, to link with or pair with or whatever. Mm, very curious. Very, very curious. <sighs> okay. Well, we've got like 10 seconds, I think. Or possibly less if it's already doing an explode. I mean, soon. Because 20 minutes is a nice round number for... Whoa, oh, crud. Well, if I don't get... Uh, va oh, dear. If I don't get vaporized by the sun, I'm probably going to hit the ground and expire that way. Or we could just float out here uh, and hopefully hit the water. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oof. Although, hitting the water at that velocity, at presumably terminal velocity, would probably kill me anyways. Because, uh, water is, in fact, quite solid at such velocities. Um, I might not be able to get back to my ship anyways, so... I think either way, I am probably toast. Okay, well, maybe we can at least uh, get on solid ground. Where we change states from mostly solid with a little bit of liquid to uh, 
a gas, and then a plasma, and then probably cosmic dust. But, you know, that's how things go sometimes. If there's anything else, probably down here anyway. All right, that's fine and good. And then our memories go to the Ash Twin, and then we wake up back on Timber Hearth. You know, I wonder what our good friend Slate here has to say about all of this, if anything. Um, aside from whatever... Oh, the sun is going to go supernova, by the way. Yeah, there is there's an exhibit about that. Yeah, I got some of some of the final details. This physics really Hornfell's domain. Here's the rocket science and the marshmallows. You know, that's fair. Um, he seems uh, entirely unconcerned about the sun going supernova. Which, you know, there's not really much you can do about it, so I, I get that. I get that. Don't worry about things entirely outside your control, right? Um, okay, what is this gonna fill in for us now? Lots of stuff. Only one additional thing. <laughs> but we learned that if we go to the Southern Observatory, we can uh, figure out how to get through the current. That's probably the important bit. So we're going to have to go back to Brittle Hollow sooner rather than later. Okay, but that's a good spot to stop for tonight. Um, made a lot of loose ends, tied up a few others, and we'll be ready to resume this uh, next week. So that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. CDT. It'll be Shmup Book Club. We'll have our new Shmup for month of May. Uh, the quarterlies are still going. That's Super Hydra and Radiant Silver Gun on tap. Um, Friday, Saturday, we're off. Then Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT will be long play. We're going to set aside Assault Android Cactus for a bit and uh, pick up something else for the long play. That uh, What that is remains to be seen. But then next Monday, 7 p.m. CDT, we'll be back here with Outer Wilds. Exploring more stuff and and doing more time loops and such. This is fun. I like this. I like this a lot It's it's sort of chill, but sort of not and it's you know, it's an adventure. It's an adventure I, I like adventures I like adventures a lot All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching everybody. See you tomorrow Bye-bye